Hey guys, um, I love psychology. I loved it enough to uh, go and spend six years in university for it, based solely on my uh, personal interests. And, you know, one of the things I learned, this is one of the most interesting and profound that I found, because I relate to this a lot. Let's watch it together, shall we? But an experiment is not a public opinion poll. It examines behavior under the pressure of social forces, as the experiment of Solomon Ash reveals. Interesting. The experiment you'll be taking part in today involves the perception of lengths of lines. As you can see here, I have a number of cards, and on each card there are several lines. Your task is a very simple one. You're to look at the line on the left and determine which of the three lines on the right is equal to it in length. All right, we'll proceed in this order. You'll give your answer. Only one of the people in the group is a real subject, the fifth person with a white T-shirt. The others are confederates of the experimenter and have been told to give wrong answers on some of the trials. You got that? So this is basically like one guy in ignorance... Who's the only honest person in this experiment? And then all the rest are in on the trickery. Okay. The experiment begins uneventfully as subjects give their judgments. Two, 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 two. three, 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 three on the third trial. Okay, the first two, boy, that was getting us solidified. He's like, oh, yeah, we all in the group. We all solidified. We all in this thing together. Social Psychology 101. There we go. Now we're going to move into Social Psychology 201, 301, 401, 501. Pick, you know, whatever level you think this is. Let's go. Something happens. Two. 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 Uh, two. The subject denies the evidence of his own eyes and yields to group influence. Holy smokes. Did you get it? Let's, let's see some more. Come on, if that's not pr profound enough, let's... Ash found subjects went along with the group on 37% of the critical trials. But he found through interviews that they went along with the group for different reasons. One. One. They must be right. There are four of them and one of me. One. This subject's yielding is based on a distortion of his judgment. Cognitive dissonance. A lot of people use the term that this is what this is. Uh-uh. But everybody else can't be wrong, and ever uh, they got video of the dude walking on the moon. I mean, I mean, look, if this experiment, the results of it, if it's really as they presented it, if this ain't a psyop on its own, bro, like this is like wildly. Profound, I'll keep using the word, to explaining a lot. Especially when this is, uh, I don't know, the 60s, 70s maybe, 60s I think. Let me back it up just a little bit. Along with the group for different reasons. One. One. They must be right. There are four of them and one of me. Oh, one. This subject's yielding is based on a distortion of his judgment. He genuinely believes that the group is correct. One. 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 Two. One. Two. 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 I know they're wrong, but why should I make waves? Two. In this case, the subject... He said, I know they're wrong, but why should I make waves? Like I said, if this is real, bro, like if this experiment, if this is not also a psyop, do you think maybe 
Maybe we might have been duped a lot of times in our life. You know what I mean? All right, bro. Subject knows he is right, but goes along to avoid the discomfort of disagreement with the group. Here, the distortion is at the level of his response. Two. 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 In the previous experiment, the naive subject stood alone against the group. In this variation... I love that they called him the naive subject. Naive. Because he had no idea everybody else was in on the trick. Now, this is just one person against four obvious uh, tricksters, if you will. But that guy said 37% of people, I think he said, went along with it. Nearly 40%, nearly half. So imagine a room full of naive people. And one trickster. <laughs> Is that a far-fetched idea? This was done with four tricksters of really the power of the group. But you know, two people makes a group. And so it's like social psychology. Once you get away from yourself, which is cognitive psychology, all in your own mind and shit. Once it's two or more, you and your girlfriend, do you not act different? When somebody else is around you, you're interacting with another person rather than sitting there having your own thoughts? Of course we do, bro. Ash gave the naive subject a partner, here seated in the third position, who also gives the correct response. One. One. Watch this shit. Two. One. Um. Two. With a partner, Look. Drops to only 5 Fuck yeah, bro. High five, MAGA, bro. Without a partner. MAGA, bro. Although subjects <laughs> warmth and good feeling toward the partner, they typically do not. I mean, I, I just skipped over that. That was a beautiful moment right there. I mean, come on, bro. What are we talking about, bro? In 2024, bro. That's why I'm, I'm so disappointed with academia and everybody I was in class with over the years, bro. I really. Two. This is fucking fantastic. One. Two. With a partner, yielding drops to only 5% mm -hmm. of the critical trials compared to 37% without a partner. Although subjects report warmth and good feeling toward the partner, they typically deny that he played a role in their own independence. Uh huh. Look. The partnership variation shows that much of the power of the group came not merely from its numbers, but from the unanimity of its opposition. Uh -huh. When that unanimity is punctured, the group's power is greatly reduced. Boom, shadow ban. Sometimes we go along with a group because what they say convinces us they are right. This is called informational conformity. Oh, shit. But Here sometimes we go. Sometimes we conform because we are apprehensive that the group will disapprove if we are deviant. Mm. This is called normative conformity. Holy smokes. The strength of the normative factor is shown in another variation carried out by Ash. In this variation, the subject is told that because he had arrived late, he would have to write his answers. Subjects in this private response experiment are exposed to the same amount of misleading information as other subjects, but they are immune from any possible criticism by the group. One. 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 And this enormously reduces the pressure to conform. Conformity drops by two-thirds. Ash's experiment is a classic. It reveals how people will deny what they see and submit to group pressure. It allows us not only to observe conformity, but to study the conditions that increase or reduce its occurrence. Yeah. Now, as a critical thinker, and I know this is old, I'm not sure if it says what year. No, it doesn't look like it. It was a long time ago. It was posted in 2007, even just on here. I mean, you know what I mean? Why were they studying this, I wonder? And at the end, they variated it. said, well, what if we, uh... I don't know. Get Edward Bernays on the phone. Let's see if he's got some good ideas here.
we can implement into this uh, experiment. Because, you know, advertising, I know a lot of people think that, that goes along with like marketing and now that's psychology. Social psychology specifically. What does advertising do? Persuade you to do something you wouldn't do on your own? Well, that doesn't fit into this experience. This is, uh, if you really try to think about what is behind even wanting to study this. Is this just a bunch of old guys from the 60s? You know, they were a lot smarter than we are nowadays. So, you know, they're probably bored because they didn't have TikTok and shit. But they were just sitting around going, uh, what are some, what are some new intellectual ideas for research? What are some real creative things that nobody would think of? All just in the spirit of, uh greater understanding for the betterment of society type ideas and then they came up with this let's see let's see how strong this conformity phenomena really is now if this is done in the 60s and 70s how many other conformity experiments do you think they're done they've done Why was there a Smith Munt Act? Um, modernized in 2014. Had to check the time there. To allow propaganda against their own people. Why are all the drug commercials in super slow mo and. really creepy to, I don't know, I guess people like me, it's really fucking creepy. I don't know, just, I just wanted to present this because, you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a psychology student, former student, current student, always interested in it. And this is one of the most interesting, uh, things that I learned in my time in uh, indoctrination class. You know what I mean? All right, bro. Hope y'all enjoy that. I know I did. <laughs>